some fans and friends back to Bob's Barn Workshop. All right, what are we going to do today? Well, we have a very simple little project today, something a little different than I'm used to doing. My wife's hairdresser uh, has a friend, so it's a friend of a friend of a friend, with one of these yard whirly gig things. You know, the wind blows and it spins in the air. Well, the welds on one of the uh, blades that goes that way broke and it's welded onto the bottom or the top such like this so we're going to this is steel I tested it this is made out of steel it's just uh, given in this patina for some reason to make it look like copper otherwise I would silver solder it but um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to disassemble I'm going to take this nut off and get this guard off take this part so I can lay it flat but I'm gonna practice first on some nails which are almost exactly the same size actually they are the same size as this, the wire so I'm gonna practice with my welder settings before I actually get into working on this so let's try the welder setup first the other issue here is gonna be how am I gonna clamp this crap all together so I can weld it uh, let's see, what do we got here? I do have some small C clamps. I might have some spring clamps around here somewhere. I'll rig up something. <clears throat> Excuse me. It'd be nice if I had just some little alligator clips from, uh, like wire test leads or something like that, but we'll see. See if I can just weight these down so they sit next to each other to begin with. So, I'm just going to squeeze this guy in a C-clamp, hopefully. So, don't move. Now, that didn't work for crap. Well, this one's bent. Of course, it was bent the other way that I could find it to be useful naturally naturally I don't think it needs a ton of clamping force just something to keep it from skidding around you know yeah it's just pinching it right out damn it sorry no cursing allowed well while I fumble around with this you know why because the head of the uh, rotating part here swirls. There we go. I need something to attach my ground to. I'm just gonna put that on this one. Come on. They're a little, a little creepy in their old age. A little creaky. it's really huge and heavy. Can I put it right over the whole table? Uh, won't quite do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get another clamp. A bigger clamp. <sighs> that looks like it's coated. But if I put it up on there... that fell out of there. Arr! All right, so we're about ready to give this a try. Um, you can see I uh, clamped the one nail into a bare cast iron C-clamp, an oldie but a goodie. Clamped that with a bare C-clamp, which I have my ground wire hooked up to. And then the other unit I just... Uh, weighted it down with a piece of steel that I have laying around the shop here. So, I got my settings set on uh, low-low for this 
wire feed welder. It is a gas welder. I'm going to cut the tip off from this. And we'll just see if I can make a zzz, because that's all I'm looking for is a zzz. Pretty. Does it attach? Oh yeah, she's attached. Oh hell yeah. I'm burning the table, but now she's stuck. Well that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I don't want to burn up the stuff. I've got a surface prep and take all this finish off with my grinder and I have to disassemble this part to get this apart so I can lay it flat. So that's what I'm going to do next. Hopefully this... It looks like it's got bearings in it. Okay. Oops. Where did that come from? That come from the top. Okay, there's a uh, lock nut on both the top and the bottom, a lock washer. And then there's that spacer, which is plastic. So anyway, we're down to this. And I've got a scratch off here and here. I think I can file that. And the other one I'm going to use... Um, find a file over here. I think I put them in a different drawer. Drawer. La 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 la. this up any more than we have to. I'll have to touch this up with some kind of... I'm going to have to be careful not to burn through that. Now how I'm going to get this in here, I'm not sure. It's kind of awkward up in here. I guess maybe I can just scratch at it with my utility knife. There's a little bit of flash left from the last welds. Yeah, that's working. Just got to get that coating off, whatever that happens to be. Okay, well, I'm going to work on this. You need to watch this. All right, I'm working on this one. We're just about ready to start the show here. Pretty much clean all this coating off here that I can. But see, this is going to have to be like that. We can bend this around a little bit too to suit our needs. I'm going to set this weight on it too. There we go. That's looking pretty good.
I got it grounded down here. I ground off a little bit of the coating and clamped that clamp on there to hold the whole assembly down. And now I'm going to put my ground on it. Oops, come on, get a good bite, girl. There we go. I turned up the speed just a little bit. Let her go. Perfect. I don't think I'm going to do any more. Makes me look like a pro, don't it? Sorry it was off. I got a nice bead onto the hub and a nice one onto there, just one side. I'm not going to do the other side. The, look at these. These look like these were probably electrically welded by putting current through them. I'm betting that's how that was welded. But we're fixed. And hopefully this will make our friends happy. I'm happy, happy, happy to do it. But, you can see now, our Whirly Gig blade is back on. It's tilted a little bit, just like the other ones were. I'm going to just get in there with some, uh, some kind of paint, because I don't want that to... Uh, <clears throat> rust again. Of course, it's outside. Maybe the rest is the patina they're looking for. It's kind of a copper tone color. See if I got anything in here. I got a little bit of gold. And I got a little bit of flat black. Oh, there's satin espresso brown and gold. I'm going to try. Like that. Just like that. And where did I put the ground on this? It would be on this side. Oh, there it is. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave the brown all alone. They'll never see the difference. All right, you guys like it? Let's put it back together. All right, remember she was... Uh, I don't know which way this went. Did this go opposite? Well, they can always switch it around if they don't like it. I think they go opposite, don't they? Opposite counter-rotating. So these are going this way and that one's going the other. I think that's the way they normally run them. And then there was a lock nut. First. Lock. Lock washer, uh, lock washer, spacer, lock washer, flange. And see, that's why I put the weld behind the flange, too. I welded it from the top so the weld wouldn't show at all.
I don't think that, I'm not going to put that lock washer on there. It seems like the lock washer is what's riding on the bearing. It is. I'm taking this lock washer out. So if the spacer sits down in there, yeah, that's how it's got to go. And then the lock washer. And then this. And then the lock washer. Then we can tighten it up and it won't bear on that that bearing uh, brace at all. And she'll still rotate freely. Perfect. Just snug that up. And there we go. A whirly gig with a repair you'd never be able to find. It's still wobbly though. I don't like the wobbly part of this. Oh, that wasn't the one we repaired. Huh. No, the one we repaired rotates better. This one's kind of wobbly. Let's see if there's anything we can do for that. Oh, all the lock washers are missing from this one. I don't know if I have anything that will just take up the space a little more. Let me look for a washer that's bigger than that. We might have to hit it with some... Oh no, we'll put it underneath. Uh, I got... Maybe we can steal the lock washer from the other side. Alright, let's try that. I'm going to put this on this away for now. See, there's no washers in here, so I took all the washers out. But if I take this lock washer out on the inside and then put this one back on, leaving the one on the outside. The problem is, is the depth of this thread and the depth of the nut, the nut does not go in far enough without the washers to get tight. But now it does with one lock washer and the one lock washer should keep it from coming loose. So what we're going to do on this side where it's all wobbly We're just going to drop that lock washer on here and see if we can get it any tighter. Yep. Now maybe they took it out because it wasn't spinning in the wind very good. I'm pretty sure these are sealed bearings. Of course, they're not balanced really well. You are a professional to apply with for the... Find the fix. Mm -hmm. I can tell because I used brown touch-up paint right there. See, but it's up under the disc. Yeah. But the brown matches that pretty good, and you don't even see it anyway. And uh, I fixed the other side. It was all floppy. These aren't balanced very well. They might have to add taper something to them, or wire, mm -hmm. put some grips and wire in here to balance it, mm -hmm. but it's as good as it gets. Yeah. This is bad, but you can get too much. Whatever. Mm -hmm. There you go. Tell her to come get. Alright All right, guys, project's over. You gotta go to the lake this afternoon.